Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Toasty, and today we are back with another Epic 7 video, guys. Yep, indeed, it's the first time I do an Epic 7 video. And uh, for those of you wondering, well, I really, really enjoyed this game. Uh, I find it's an amazing game. The characters, uh, the the um, everything, just the way you have to build your characters, the gear, the farm, everything is so cool. And uh, basically, Lu Luna is back. So I haven't, uh, I never was able to summon Luna because basically when I started playing the game, uh, she had just gone. Uh, I think she had left like two weeks prior to that. So today, she's a time limited character. And uh, today we're going to try our best. Well, I'm going to try my best to basically summon her because she's one insane unit. And basically, if you guys play Epic 7, you know that to clear Wyvern, she could be a big help. And uh, she's just an amazing unit herself. Look at that. Look at that. And I have the sister. I have Euphine. So I have to go in and basically try to get my luck. So we have 335 bookmarks. And if that's the first one. Oh my. I think it's going to be the first one. Oh, okay. So basically that's a four star. That would have been crazy if it's the first one. So if you guys don't play Epic 7. Really simple. Whenever it shines gold. It basically gives you a chance. Uh, so you basically get a four star. Whether an artifact or a character but it has a chance to go into a five star so if you see a face pop up on the side of the screen basically means that uh it's going to be an artifact or a character so if the face pops up on uh, basically the left side of the screen it's going to be an artifact and if the face pops up on the right side of the screen it's going to be a new unit so basically yeah today we're we want that face to be on the right so we want the face to be popping up on the right we're gonna go for another four star artifact. So I am hoping for at least one Luna. At least one Luna. And maybe if we're lucky enough, we can get the new five star artifact. So Tyranor Guard, TG, what up? Uh, I seriously can't remember the last time I got that many gold. Just face, pop them down the right. Ah. Oh. I just want that little face to pop and see that beautiful Luna. In my screen but cartucho i'll take it i'll take it so obviously if i don't get luna right now there's a cool thing called the pity system in the game so basically at your 121st summon on the banner you ba basically guaranteed the unit so uh i think i should be having enough to basically go for uh what's it called to uh, the pity if we don't get her five star artifact four star still good Still good. So yeah, guys, if you guys don't play Epic 7, uh, give it a try. It's a really cool game. The characters are really cool. Uh, the way you have to build your characters with gears, uh, really nice. You have to farm a lot. This game, you have to farm. Man, do you have to farm. But uh, the way you get your Sky Stones, the Arena, the Guild Wars, uh, everything in this game is really, really good. So that's why I do enjoy this game a lot, especially lately. Uh, the auto battle system is really cool. Really nice indeed. Another four, four star artifact. We're killing it! We're killing it with those four star artifacts. Hey, Arius again. Alright, we're gonna keep going. So if you guys wonder, those artifacts, you can basically uh, equip them to your characters. And uh, it makes them that much better. Some, some artifacts are really, really amazing for some characters. And the cool thing about this game, guys, even the three star units can become really, really good once they're six star. So even if you have a 3-star unit, guess what? That 3-star unit could be really, really good. Uh, I know there's a 4-star unit that I really enjoy in this game. Uh, Furious. Basically, he's a 4-star unit. And the second you make him a 6-star, he's, he's a beast. Face? Hey, Zerato. I'll take it. I'll take it. So we're going to keep going. Basically, when the, there's nothing like that, well, that's what it means. So, you basically also have... I know I like saying basically. But uh, you also have the Moonlight characters, which you can get in these banners. Man, I'm just expecting... I want to see that face pop on the side. Dominion. All right. So, Moonlight characters are basically dark and light characters. So, they're a different version of the original characters. And uh, basically, if you take Moonlight characters, they're really, really good for the arena and basically the uh, Guild Wars. So that's one thing. They're also really good units in general. But if you're going to do Guild Wars and stuff like that, they are also really, really amazing. 
We're getting we're getting so many golds. So many Hey, alright, dingo. I'll take it. I'll take it. Wait, actually, let me back out. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take that stone. We're gonna keep going. Come on, Luna. Come on, Luna. You have to show up, girl. You have to show up. I had a dream. And in my dream, I summoned you. Alright, so that's that's more normal. When you when you get those three stars back to back to back to back. That's normal rates. Nimunas. Damn. Alright. Right now. Alright, game. You gave me a lot of golds. But can you give me the one gold? The one gold. Can this be the one? Can you please be the one? Because I've been hoarding. Yes! Oh, oh my god, you're so beautiful. My, destiny, my loyalty, my horns. I offer them all to you. Luna! Oh, you're beautiful. You're beautiful. Oh, yeah. Look at that. She's one beautiful unit. So, basically, these are the skills, guys. So, basically, there's S1, S2, and S3. So, our S3 is really, really good because you can put defense break, guys. So, basically, this game, whenever you put a status debuff on a, uh, on the boss, uh, <laughs> it makes your team do so much extra damage. But uh, her defense break is really, really good. You have crit chance on her. So, uh, yeah, Luna! Oh, man, you know what? We're going to keep uh, going till 150 because I want to see if I can get that artifact because that new artifact is really, really good. That's a three-star unit. So we did get our uh, Luna and Anis. All right. So, see, these three-star unit guys are actually pretty, pretty good. They're not bad at all. So uh, let's see if we can get that beautiful artifact. And if we can't, well, it doesn't matter. I'm going to stop at 150 either way. Because I want to keep my uh, Sky Stones and my uh, bookmarks. Because next week, we should be getting the new time-limited character for uh, Halloween. So, Rosa Argana. Not really what I wanted. So, five more summons. Maybe we'll do a group summon. So, guys, if you want to join me on this one, please feel free to do so. If you did enjoy that epic 7 video let me know down below because i might be doing more of that since uh you know what i really enjoyed this game lately the city i do enjoy a lot also so uh, i want to push this a little bit more but if you guys if you did enjoy it let me know down below also leave a like on the video since it's helped it helps a lot and uh yeah guys last one is gonna be a group seven so we got one more so we're gonna skip this one so guys Feel free to join me. We're going to go do a group summon right now. So whatever game you're playing on, prepare it. You guys ready? You guys ready? So if you're summoning for Luna, guys, best of luck. If you're summoning on King of Fighters, best of luck. If you're summoning on Brave Exodus, best of luck. If you're summoning on Dissidia or any other game that you're playing, best of luck, guys. We're going to go in three, two, one. Summon away, people. Click that confirm button. I'm going to be getting nothing. But if you get something really, really good, let me know down below in the comment section because I do enjoy reading your stuff, guys. And thank you so much for all the support. And uh, we got Luna. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.